Good morning, everybody. This is Richard back at you. This is what it looks like here this morning in Amarillo. Uh, this is just the first start of it. We got a bunch more coming in uh, later on in this evening, so pretty neat. But we got a lot of work going on here at the shop. A lot of work. We got Cody pulling out a six speed. We're gonna be going through this six speed and we also have another six speed in the back uh, that we're gonna get out and uh, freshen it up too in this crate up there. So that's pretty neat. We're gonna be doing two jobs for them. We also have uh, Greg's uh, pickup that we're doing for him. Uh, this is a total frame off restoration. So it's really nice. It's got a seven or excuse me, an early 4L60E in it. Uh, that doesn't work uh, right, no reverse, stuff like that. So really nice truck. We're gonna get it apart. We got Trent over here working on the Dodge. Finishing up, starting to put it back in. So Trent's working hard. Gotta love what you gotta do, right? And you know you got to love a Cummins. There you go. So we got a lot going on today. Definitely. So we'll get these six speeds out. Get them tore down in a video. And, uh, show the customer what it looks like. Uh, we'll uh, tear uh, Greg's tranny out too. And uh, see what it looks like. Do a video of it. So it's going to be pretty fun this week. So plus the snow. Well everybody stay warm. Stay tuned. Have a good day. We got our uh, 4L60E uh, pan off. Don't look too bad. It had plenty of fluid in it, but uh, just has a reverse problem. Uh, it warms up a little bit, doesn't want to move, I guess. So well, we're going to get this out, get her tore down here in a, another video. You know, we're always doing something pretty cool at the shop oh, on the yeah. Dirty Bird always doing something but here what we're doing is taking a four gallon fuel cell and basically we cut the side off of this one here and we're going to add another uh hopefully a gallon to this one here and have a have a five gallon fuel cell now we're putting chambers in the sides here now what we're going to be doing is um Oh, you get it mounted down. We're actually going to be, we added another oh, big yeah. uh, inlet here. We'll cap this one. Now we'll be sucking fuel out of here, but we're going to be putting it back in, back here in the back on this chamber here. This is what we're going to do. Where'd that fitting go? Now we're going to be putting a fitting back here in the back for the return. We'll be, we'll be returning it into this chamber here. So it'll, it'll calm down going back into here, but still uh, return back into the, the big chamber uh, through the holes here. And then we'll have a little small vent up here. That way it can't overpressure this chamber on the return fuel. So it's gonna be pretty neat. Mm -hmm. I think Trent can weld, so we'll just put Trent to the test here in a minute and uh, see what it looks like. Right, Cody? Test today. Yes, sir. Huh? It's probably gonna be one of my easier tests. Yeah, got some clean aluminum. Gonna be really nice looking welds probably. Oh yeah. So we're definitely gonna be coming back. A bit more fabrication going on. Looking pretty good. That'll give us, we're hoping at least another gallon, so we got a five gallon fuel cell now. It's gonna have some big inlets and outlets. Got a few vents to put in there still. We're gonna, we're actually gonna move these up to here because all the force is gonna go back to the back of the tank, so. Pretty cool. Now we're going to be putting fuel back into the top tank and then it'll cross over to here. Should settle down a lot too as it goes over there. So that's what we're shooting for. Trent likes to get them nice and tied all the way around. That way it just, uh, you don't have to use a lot of filler or anything. 
no gap welding here. Yeah, no gap welding. Looks pretty good. There are a couple more areas to switch over to the final beam. They add on these. No, 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 no. I'll be a nice piece to the dirty bird. I'll give you a sneak peek. Well, I'll give you a sneak peek, but we'll save that till later. Well, we got Trent over here working. Oh, oh. yeah, sleep working. I got it done, boss. You got it done? Yeah, she looks good. She's still nice and warm. She's still, still nice a little warm. warm. Well, bang. So bang. That looks really good. Still got to do that one. But... Good morning. Look at them beads, good, guys. Gonna work nice. That's a four gallon tank into a five gallon tank with a chamber that we put in there for the return. Look at that. I bet that just might cut the mustard. That might do it, boss. What do you want to do? Turn it around. Backwards? Yeah, see the back side. There we go. We, we had a city. small inlet like this here, and we put the big old 12 in there. I guess that's what it is. Uh, that's a, yeah, I think that's 12, 10. And we're gonna put this is gonna be the return and this is a chamber here that we welded on the end of it see them holes down in there and stuff you can yeah. see yeah that looks pretty Sorry. good well trent i'm proud of you that's a pretty good deal right there it looks good I custom all the way huh how does that all write you a bill yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'll meet you at the desk thursday sounds good <laughs> well, all right guys y'all stay tuned